Hello everyone. Today we will see how to bring an animated object to the origin. So if, if an object is like static, there is like no uh, problem uh, mostly to bring the object to the origin. We can use the math size node. But when it is animated, there are some issues. Let's see how to uh, do this and we will also learn uh, VEX in this process. I will create a geometry node and I uh, will put on this animated character called crack. So this has an animation. This will be like perfect for our example. But I will not have it in, uh, in the origin, I will have it like somewhere uh, randomly. So you can see it is not in the origin and that uh, we will try to bring it to the origin uh, using this and it is animated. Okay. So what happens uh, when we use math size, let's unpack it and we will put on a math size node. Yep. So the mass is node will definitely bring it to the origin but when it when it is animated there is an issue like it tries to bring it to the origin every frame so like you are not exactly getting the animation uh, in the origin you are getting the animation but uh, there is like no movement in any in, in any axis. So let's uh, so let's try to fix this. So the concept that we will be using is we are going to subtract the distance from where the uh, the character is to the origin. So let me explain what I am saying. So the character is like initially here and after match size it comes to the origin right. So we need to subtract this distance but we will find out this distance in a static frame like we will use time shift and then we will subtract the distance that we are calculating in every frame in the animated object. So let's see how to do this let's put on a time shift now first and then before just before the match size. So like, so we have the object in the origin and uh, like the, it is a static, let's put dollar f start. So mostly I think you should, uh, based on your shot, but you can, you should use uh, f start. Uh, I, I mean like you should use the initial frame, the first frame. And uh, we have two uh, points, okay, like uh, we have the original, like where the character was before. So it is here and after match size it is here okay. So these both are like uh, uh, static I mean they are like not uh, animated. So we will calculate the distance between these two. Let us put on attribute triangle. Okay. So the origin geometry in the first input and the original position uh, in the second input and we will create the vector uh, attribute uh, v at sum okay like some name I'm using and we have to subtract this one with this one. so this position minus this position okay so we'll get the distance between these two points let's do it point one so the first input so this is the zeroth input this is the first input so we are taking the position of the first input so this input and we are subtracting this with this uh, the the origin position so that is just v at p so now we have the distance between these two points so like see we have this attribute called from so this is like the exact distance that we need to subtract from the animation every single frame okay let's do this we'll connect the animated object to the 0 1 2 so this is like second input And we will set the position v at p equals. So we have to subtract the origin from the second input. Okay. So the second input position will be point two comma comma at p one. We are getting the position of the second input, and uh, we will subtract it with 
the attribute that we created. So the attribute is the distance. So when we subtract this, we automatically bring the object to the origin. Cool. So let's see what what is happening here. So now we not only have the object in the grid, like in the zero grid in the origin, but we also have it animated. Like we are not disturbing the animation. Like we are not doing it every frame. So we brought the object to the origin, and if you want the object to rest on the grid, we can just change the justify from center to min in the matrix node. And if what if you want to like uh, you'll do the process here, like whatever you want to do. And what if you want to like take the object back to its original position? So let's put on an attribute triangle. Node. So all you have to do is add the sum attribute that is the distance. From this position, okay. So v at v plus equals at v at sum, and this will again take the object to its initial position. So this is like a simple method to bring animated objects to the center of the grid. I hope you like this tutorial uh, and uh, please subscribe to my Patreon page and uh, my YouTube channel. I am hoping to bring more exciting, tut exciting tutorials like this, mainly concentrating on the VIX. On VIX. Thank you.